Linda Bella-Smith, founder of the Peace Angels Project and the Art of Peace Charitable Trust. We're standing in front of the 9-11 Memorial Site Preview Center and it's very moving to be here, very um, emotional to see all the pictures and the um, objects from the occurrence at the tragedy in 2001. I think it's extremely important to continue to hold a sentinel that time period and remember all the people that we lost initially in those buildings and from the toxins that occurred thereafter. It's very funny because I have been to many war-torn areas in the world and you're oftentimes asked, you know, how many people passed during the tragedy but we also need to remember that the secondary plagues that occur, such as the toxins post 9-11. Um, the New York Renaissance Peace Angel will be going to the World Trade Center Museum. It's a promised gift. And that Peace Angel, once brought from California, stood as a, as a symbol of peace in front of Nino's restaurant the entire time that Nino and his family uh, fed the firemen, police officers, and rescue workers 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It was a very, very uh, big devotion to have him do that. From our side, when we brought the Peace Angel from Crossroads School of Arts and Sciences, no one was talking about all the people who had died in the plains that were on their way to Southern California. And unfortunately, Taking the Peace Angel from Crossroads School of Arts and Sciences at that time was a big sacrifice because many parents had died in the plains and we were taking the Peace Angel away from them and bringing it to New York where the World Trade Center itself was hit. So historically, we, uh, we want to make sure that we remember those that we've lost and hold dear to us um, how we can move forward and live better lives because of their presence in our lives.